What happens if you try to paint in your anti-art style? So let me explain. The anti-style is basically the opposite of your art style. And today, I will be trying to find my anti-style. So my original art style usually consists of vampire mommies and daddies. They never have a single ounce of emotion in their soulless eyes. Plus, I draw with the usually edgy colors. So first, let's try to imagine what my anti-style would look like. I'm going to change the way I color and the way I put on makeup on my characters. Yes, that includes juicy lips. Okay, so by the way, I'm using Procreate and I'm using this free brush called Psy Brush. It blends very well. Mwah, chef's kiss. I'll link it below. Anyway, here we are in Procreate. Let's just split the canvas into two. So on the left side, we're gonna start with my usual edgelord art style. I'm gonna sketch it out so you can see. Now, first of all, I always begin with the eyes and their eyes are always gonna be half-lidded, like they're falling asleep and seductive. All my eyes are shaped like ramen bowls. You understand? And all my characters are depressed and alcoholics. Oh yes, and they also have juicy bottom lashes. I'm just gonna copy paste real quick so we have a base for the anti style Okay, so I kind of redid it in a different angle because I didn't like the original. Anyway, we're still keeping the juicy lashes. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit here and now let's do the hair. So for this one, I didn't give her bangs for some reason, but I usually give my character bangs to hide their baldness. I don't really know why I didn't do it here, but anyway, I am finishing up on the hair real quick. Okay, Picasso. So this is our original Pauline art style. Very generic smegzy girl. Now let's see how I'll do with the anti style. Okay, I am going to flip it once again just to use it as a base. Because ain't no way I'm gonna draw from scratch. We work smart, not hard. So for this, I'm just gonna use liquify to make small changes. The first thing we would want is of course to make the eyes bigger. And overall just make her look like she's not depressed and mentally ill. Let's remove her eyebrows. And instead of making the lips sultry, and seductive. We're gonna make it plump and kissable. So what I'm gonna do is make the eyes a bit more rounded like that, make her seem friendlier. Then for the eyebrows, I made it bushy because thin eyebrows are evil. Let's make the lips heart shaped. Then I'm gonna make her bald and add bangs. I'm gonna change her hands as well. <gasps> Pauline knows how to draw hands? Yes, well, I'm very surprised that I can draw hands as well. Anyway, I'm gonna finish up on the rest of the drawing and I'll get back to you later. So I added frills and fixed the bangs. I am also gonna add this cute little Pauline badge just so people know that it's a certified Pauline artwork. All right, Picasso. So let us now color. Now, the coloring part is gonna be really important, okay? It's gonna make all the difference, y'all. I'm gonna completely change the way I color and the way I render. So let's start with my OG. Stuff. First, I lay down the base colors like so. As you can see, it's not dark and vampirish yet. And that's because we're not finished with the drawing, okay? I'm gonna put some filters later to make it look vampire. So anyway, let's add a bit of shading. And look at that. It looks so stiff and harsh. So how the heck do I fix that? Well, what I do next is gonna blow your tiny brains out, all right? So I add another layer on top of everything. And I select the color of the skin. Then I selected this soft brush and I lightly brush over the skin. See that? It went from being super hard to very smooth. I made the skin around the boobies more orangish. I also put orange on the cheeks just to make them look plumper. After that, I just redrew the lines again. Now, for shading the hair, you just really need a brush like this. I'm still using the side brush and I'm just gonna draw curves like so. And also on the left side. See that? Instant volume. Just blend it all in. Alright, see that? Very juicy. Gonna work on the boobies a little bit. Now here's a very satisfying part. Let's put highlighter on the nose, on the eyes, and obviously on the juicy lip cupid's bow. Okay, she does not look edgy enough. You know what? I'm gonna put like this eyeshadow all over her eyes and just make her look more seductive, you know? Alright, now she looks like that one TikTok filter. You know what's gonna spice this up? Let's add this blue color around the shadows. This is gonna create some nice color contrast. Just kidding, I don't know what I'm saying. Listen, blue just looks good besides skin, okay? It's a nice color compliment. Then for the highlights, just add the same curve line thing. Then we're gonna use the same brush to erase and define the highlights. See that? Smegsy. Okay, so fast forward to now. I just merged all the layers together. And now for the edgy filter art. I'm gonna teach y'all how to fake lighting. First, I'm going to drag and drop a dark purplish color like so. Alright. And now we're gonna click clipping group. And voila, it looks a bit edgier, but we're not finished 
yet. I'm also gonna add this lighting on the right. I'm using yellow and it just makes your drawing look way more interesting, right? This is a very good way to fake your lighting. Okay, Picasso, this is my art style. Now let's move on to the anti style. Okay, so I put the base colors in advance and as you can see, I am using very desaturated pastel colors. Not gonna lie, it's low key ugly, but we need to trust the process, okay? I have never used this color palette before, but anyway, let's just erase the line art a little bit just so it looks less harsh. The goal is to make her look soft, okay? I'm gonna give her orange lips as opposed to those red juicy kissable lips that I always do because red lips just don't fit with that aesthetic, okay? Now, I usually put the blush around the cheeks, but this time I'm gonna put it on the center. Bruh, she literally looks like a clown. Okay, we need to trust the process, okay? I'm not gonna make it too harsh. We're just trying to make her look more kawaii, okay? I'm so sorry, guys. I am all over the place, but just trust me, okay? You know what? She looks super bland right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use soft light and basically just brush all over her skin with this orange color. Ooh, nice. Look at the before and after. This looks great. Next, I'm gonna try to make the line art more colorful since my line art is usually just black. Okay, so fast forward, I added the highlights and the hair and stuff, just the same process, whatever. But I noticed that it's still very much like my art style. Like, it's still cooling, but in a kawaii princess type of way. So I really need to make it more colorful, okay? So I'm gonna change this hue right here. Let's just adjust this baby. Ah, we have this beautiful salmon color. Okay, I'm also gonna change the liner color to this very light and pastel. Ooh, very nice. Okay, I'm cleaning up right now. You know what, guys? It's not that bad. It's lacking something. So firstly, I'm gonna put more shadows right here. Let's just make it a little bit more pink. Oh, yes. Now, I'm gonna put actual lines like this. For this style, I'm gonna put more unblended lines. All right, time for the accessories. Let's bring back the cooling pen. Let's just color it real quick. Okay, it clearly does not blend in with the rest of the drawing. So, let's add a filter over it. Let's also give her an X pin over here and a little star earring. For the background, we're gonna add this repeat pattern of hearts. Oh, yes. And lastly, I just wanna add a little bit of detail on my OG art. This is gonna be very lazy but I'm just gonna add a tattoo to make her look more edgy. All right, so this is the speed paint. Okay, so to summarize what I did, I basically just changed the way I color and also I made the features and facial expression softer. Also, since I'm drawing a girl, I also decided to use a different makeup style, which is basically where I place the blush and how harsh the eyeshadow is. So yeah, it wasn't really that challenging if you have the right references actually. So if you wanna try this challenge out, just use Pinterest. And that's my number one advice, okay? We have here a little Hello Kitty and Kurumi moment. So which art style do you like? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching until the end. Watch this video next and I'll see you there. Stay cool.